Hello everyone, this is Veronica with Fox Dragon Crow. I, um, I'm working from home on Mondays and Thursdays. So last night I was thinking that maybe those are the days where I can post some videos. Uh, so far mostly you've seen <laughs> like sort of reveals or unboxings of decks. So not too much commentary um, on Tarot itself. Um, and that's what I'm comfortable with uh, doing right now. So I'm gonna stick to that for a little bit until I <laughs> until I have the guts to post other things. Um, so today I wanted to um, unbox another deck that I got for myself for my birthday. It's the Mythos Tarot. And um, it's published by Rockpool. And it looks like it has beautiful images, young gods and goddesses. But let's see how it goes. Um, I have a few uh, goddess decks, gods, goddesses decks. And I should definitely show them all one time. But anyway, I'm taking the plastic wrap off. I'm using a little cuticle scissors because then I know it's thin I, and I can like uh, puncture the cellophane and then just kind of pull it out nicely. Alright, so now that that's done, so this is the box without the plastic wrap. It has a nice rose petal almost finish to it, uh, but a little bit... Um, not as thick feeling, so not as velvety, but very nice and smooth and rose petal uh, finish. And you can see it has gold embossing. Um, and here's the back of the deck. Um, I'm using my phone to record again, so hopefully the sound will be okay and the quality will be okay. Let's see. I thought I'd make it easier on myself and not have like that lens that just keeps popping in and out. So let's see how it goes. Um, so here's the book. Same as the cover. Back of the book. It's a pretty good sized book. And it says guidance from the Greek gods. And it does look like it has, it's a sepia tone um paper throughout uh, kind of shiny and it does have full um card full color um card renditions um so this is uh, one of the minors three of coins and it looks like it has about a page of content and then the majors this is the hanged man and it looks like it has about a page a page and a half um, of content so yeah so let's see what we have. Hmm. I didn't know what the backs of these cards looked like, but yeah, I just opened this box. So it's ro it's uh, gold, um, super shiny gold gilding. And the backs are this coral pink color uh, with angels, I think. Or not, not angels, but anyway, this is the backs of the card. So it's a little bit shiny. Yeah, a lot shiny, I guess. So hopefully you will be able to see it. Okay, it's it's evening here. It's about nine after nine p.m. So, and I have the lights on, so hopefully it won't glare too much. So we have. Um, 
let's look at the cards. We have the full uh, pan. I'm trying not to to have the glare of the blue screen. Pan, very young pan. I don't know how are you gonna feel about this because it's like full of beautiful people. The magician is Hecate, if I'm saying pronouncing it right. That's the magician card. Uh, the high priestess Persephone. The Empress, Hera. The Emperor, Zeus. It's very golden. Zeus. The Hierophant, Dionysus. Uh, the lovers, Aphrodite, Aphrodite, I guess. Sorry. If you can hear my kitty, she just came in. She's meowing. Uh, the chariot, Apollo. Uh, strength, strength, Atlas. Uh, the Hermit, Hermes, does this make sense, hmm. I'm not sure, um, so Hermes is the Hermit, uh, Demeter, Demeter is the Wheel of Fortune, uh, Justice is Themis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Themis. Uh, the hanged man is Prometheus. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Uh, death is Thanos. Temperance is Artemis. The Devil is Hades. Not sure if a lot of you will like these renditions of the gods and goddesses. But anyway, I thought it would be interesting, so I, I got it for myself. It's a stock. I'm going to... The Tower, Poseidon. Uh, the Star, Nyx. The Moon, Selene. The sun, Helios, I guess that makes sense. Judgment, Athena. The world, Gaia, Gaia. Not sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um... And then we're coming to, so it looks like they're all gods and goddesses throughout the courts as well. And we have wands. I'm just going to unstuck them. Wands, coins. Some of them are stuck, so I'm just going to work on like, ooh, that was a good crack. <laughs> Oh, that's a 
satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, wands, coins, cups, and swords. And I apologize in advance if I'm not pronouncing the names properly. All right, so let's look at the wands. Including the quartz. So that's the ace. Ace of wands. I just want to show the aces and then we'll go. Mm, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Hepaetus, Hepaetus, sorry, I am so sorry, I'm not saying it right, I should really um, talk to someone, do I have a Greek co-worker, maybe, maybe I, maybe, uh, here's the ace of coins, is I I uh, eh, Olus I Olus I don't mean to be disrespectful but I don't know how to pronounce it so I'm trying my best That's the ace of coins uh the ace of cups ace of cups we have Pontos 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 And the Ace of Swords, Chaos, or Chaos, maybe it's pronounced. All right, so let's look at the wands. So this is the Ace of Wands, Two of Wands. There's a lot of names um, I can't pronounce here. Some I recognize, some not. Asclepius. I hope the book is good. Um, definitely learning about more gods and goddesses, um, and goddesses from the Greek pantheon. That'd be kind of nice. Three of Wands. Ananke, Ananke, uh, Four of Wands, Hestia, Five of Wands, Zelus, Zelus, Zelus. Six of Wands, Nike, Nike, Nike. I mean, the art is beautiful. I'm not sure it'll be everyone's cup of tea. Seven of Wands, uh, Soteria. Um, eight of Wands, Atlanta. Nine of Wands, Bia. Ten of Wands, Iris or Iris. I hope I connect with them. Let's see. Page of Wands, Hemera or Hemera. Uh, Knight of Wands, Heracles. Queen of Wands, Psyche or Psyche, Psyche, 
I guess. That's how you pronounce it. Beautiful image. Apologies, everyone, again for the pronunciations. King of Wands, Kronos. So for the coins, so again we have the ace, I Olus for the ace. Uh, Oceanus, two of coins. It's a beautiful card. Uh, three of coins is the the Moirai or the Moirai. I'm not sure if it's together or not. Moirai. Uh, four of coins. A pipron. I'm so sorry. A epipron. A pipron. Four of coins. There's a lot of hands going around these people, these beings. Uh, five of coins, Penia. Uh, six of coins, uh, Thea. Uh, seven of coins, Calliope, Calliope, Calliope. Uh, eight of coins, I think it's France, Chiron, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, nine of co coins, Plutus, Plutus. He looks bored. <laughs> Ten of coins, Tyke. Oh my gosh. Don't kill me, please. Don't come for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really am. I, I really am. Taika. Maybe I have no business pronouncing some of these names, but I don't know. I feel like I have to try. Uh, Page of Coins, Horme, Horme. Uh, Knight of Coins. Zephyros, Zephyros, Zephyros. Queen of Coins, Rhea. Beautiful. I love her with the lions. And uh, King of Coins, Hyperion. This deck reminds me, I don't have it, it's the deck, there was a lot of controversy, uh, this oracle deck with goddesses from, um, um, what's her name, Reed Colin, they had like a similar sort of like cover, it was an oracle, um, the goddesses oracle by Colleen Baron Reed, I think that's her name so it kind of reminds me a little bit of that deck also I although I don't have it I, I've seen some videos of it and haven't gotten it because of all of the controversy around it uh, but yeah it might if you have it and you like this deck it might pair well with that one um, but that's a lot of <laughs> gods goddess energy I don't know if I could take that <laughs> 
I think I would need an oracle to tone it down, probably. Um, anyway, Ace of uh, Cups, uh, Pontos. Uh, two of Cups. Uh, okay. Um, Hermaphroditus. 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 Sorry. Uh, three of Cups, the Graces. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Three of Cups. Uh, four of Cups, Sticks, Sticks, uh, Five of Cups, Lette, 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 Uh, six, six of Cups, Mnemosine, mm, Mnemosine, again, I, I really hope I don't offend anyone, I probably, I'm probably offending someone, but I'm, I'm really sorry. So that's the Six of Cups. Um, seven of Cups. Hesperus 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 maybe um eight of cups Sharon or Caron At least we have some older figures in this deck, a few. Nine of Cups, Amphitrite, Amph Amphitrite, 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 oh, I should stop it. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Nyads or Nyads. It's a beautiful card. Obviously, it doesn't follow so much like the right away or any other system, as far as I can tell right now. Uh, Page of Cups, um, Hebe. Uh, Knight of Cups, uh, Morpheus, or Morpheus. Yeah, we should look at the author and um, artist. Queen of Cups, Phoebe. I'm just looking like besides the cups if we saw any semblance of like the wands with the other maybe okay king of cups Co coeus coeus i don't know i, I, I like them i guess i still kind of like them i mean for me, each deck has its own purpose. They're not all perfect. There's, you know, things I like and don't like about, you know, um, a lot of my decks. But if I can work with it and it'll benefit me in some way, um, then I'm okay with it. I'm sorry, I'm not super hardcore into, um, yeah, or op too opinionated about it, to be honest. But, um, okay. Here's the sword. So, Ace of Swords was Chaos. 
house. Uh, two of swords, swords, nemesis. Three of swords, arrows. So we start to see some of the symbolism now and um, the swords, the cups. Four of Swords, Hypnos. It reminds me of a Jod Clan Van Damme. <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't know if it comes across in ca on camera. Like, in, you know, like the, the older Jod Clan Van Damme. But I swear to God in person. <laughs> it has his face. So this is um, Four of Swords, Hypnos. <laughs> uh, five of Swords, Eris. She's holding a golden apple. Uh, six of Swords, Eos. Beautiful. Seven of Swords, the Arenas. How would you say that? The Arenas? Arenas? I'm sorry. Eight of Swords, Medusa, beautiful Medusa. Um, Nine of Swords, Phobos, Phobos. Uh, Ten of Swords. Melpomene, 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 wow, the swords are all the way through, oof, eek, a uh, page of swords, swords, Erebus, oh boy, Aries is hot. <laughs> Kind of dark, yeah. He's kind of in the shade. I'm in a mood tonight. Sorry. <laughs> Eris, Knight of Swords. Uh, Queen of Swords, Cersei. It's a nice image with the horns, the skulls, and King of Swords, Uranus, Uranus. Yeah, so <laughs> let's see how I do with it. So let's let's pick a random card. Let's shuffle it just gently. Uh, no ruffle shuffling for me for this one, but let's just pick a random card and let's see how the book goes. All right, who did we get? Apollo. Apollo, the chariot. It's a beautiful chariot card. I actually do like it. He seems very serene like daydreaming okay so let's see um hmm. all right the cherry at 
So it gives uh, the name of the card. It gives a little bit about Apollo. And it gives an upright and reverse meaning. The upright is called Risen. And the uh, reverse is called Fallen. So, and for Risen, it gives keywords. And for Fallen, it gives keywords as well. Um, so I'm just going to read a little bit that it says and then the keywords from the risen and fallen um, positions so you can read reverse with this i forgot to, yeah so the backs are like this i think i just showed them the backs um so for the chariot apollo it says apollo god of knowledge prophecy oracle songs poetry knowledge healing, archery, plague, disease, protection uh, of the young. Apollo, one of the great divinities of the ancient Greek age, has a tremendous power to assist you in, with your current challenges and triumphs. He was one of the 12 gods who ruled Olympus, replacing Helios as the sun god and twin brother to Artemis. Apollo rode the char a chariot around the sun to bring light to the world. And the reason um, keywords are willpower, hard work, focus, victory, control, ambition, overcoming obstacle. Um, and the meaning it kind of gives um, a little bit about you know the ch the chariot. Talks about Apollo's strength being channeled um and what you may do with that and then for the fallen um for reversed uh, the keywords are lack of direction powerlessness blocked by obstacles blunt force lack of self-control um yeah and it talks about like the reverse meaning um i'm curious to see about a minor if you will um, bear with me another minute just want to see if it has the same sort of like style I hope I got a minor so I got a core card Queen of Cups Phoebe's or Phoebe It has the cords uh, right after the suit uh, in the booklet, so they're not separated. So it says, Queen of Cups, Phoebe, goddess of bright intellect and prophetic minds. Phoebe is one of the Titan goddesses. Uh, her name signifies brightness. She has strong ties to the moon and to prophecy and oracles. And it does give the upright and reverse meaning as well. So a little bit shorter than the other one. Yeah, so that's it. What do you guys think? Um, I'll play with it. I, I do tend to go for goddess and god's decks. Um, I like to have them around and even if I don't use them, I like to look at them and I don't know. I'm, I hope I'm gonna use it. Um, so yes, this was the Mythos Tarot Guidance from the Greek Gods by Helena Elias. Helena Elias. And let's see if the artist is the same as the author. I'll look at the back. Oh, yeah, it's an author and illustrator. So... Yeah, it, it's beautiful art. 
There we go. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this reveal and showing you the cards of the Mythos Tarot. Um, I wonder if you have this deck. I don't know how long it's been out. It's new for me. Um, I don't think it came, you know, maybe it came out maybe 2023. Um, I stopped buying decks for a while and then I started again. So um, I guess I can look when it's come out. Publishing 2023 by Rockpool. Yeah. Um, all right. Take care, everyone. And we'll see you in the next one.